Hello everyone, let's learn Spark Lines in Microsoft Excel Part 2. Take an example over here, you want to insert the Spark Lines over here. First you select the data, then go to the insert, then Spark Lines and here we are going to insert the column 1. Locations as I have explained you in the previous video, you need to select the location where you want to insert the Spark Line and hit OK. But you have a look over here. This park line graphics says that continuations of all the date. But if you see the actual data over here, we do have a continuations of 1, 2, then 5, 6, 7, 8. After that, we are having a gap. Again, it continues 16, 17, 18, and 19. But this graphic representation says that continuations of dates are there. How exactly you can do it? Here I am going to insert the same graph but by doing a little modifications I can represent the data along with the real dates interval in between. So I have selected this particular amount again insert and column and here the location would be this one. Okay. This has been inserted the same graphical representations, but you need to edit it. After you select this data, Sparkline will be activated. Then you need to go to the axis, data axis type, right? Date axis type. Then you need to select the range where the dates are there. We are having the dates over here and press OK. Now you can see 1, 2, it is 1, 2, then gap is there then 5 6 7 8 5 6 7 8 then you are having a huge gap in between then again it start from 16 we are having a large data then followed by 17 18 and 19 so in that way you can change the dates and you can real representations of spark lines by changing the date axis thank you very much please like and subscribe for more videos like this